Hey everybody, we're in Nespo Township and this is the annual ox roast. I believe it's the 49th ox roast they're having this year. And they get some good sandwiches. I've been coming here since I was a kid because right up the street is a really dear friend that was my mom's best friend. Uh, she passed away a while ago, just like my mother. But their kids are down here, I'll run into them. They're like my sister and brothers because we all stayed together for several months. But yep, we come here 49 years. We've been here since it, be it, it began. The farm's just a quarter mile up the street, but we used to walk up. But this is a great place, so. And it's just a giant, uh, it's a, you know, a flea market. It's a big oval and there's nothing but crafts and, you know, things and all that good stuff that you would expect at a fair, so. Just thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing on a Sunday afternoon. All right, take two. <laughs> I did a whole spiel and it wasn't even recording. It's Sunday at OFR on 4th of July weekend. Yesterday was Saturday. I went to Mespo with Dawn, hooked up with my sister. She's not really my sister, but we lived together for a while, and her mom and my mom were best friends, which I told you in the video, the little clip, and it was, we had an awesome time, but uh, that was Saturday, not Sunday, like I said in the video, but we got a few cars here, I'm not sure if the nurse is here, but I know Olivia and Zeth are here, and uh, I'm somebody here from Florida, so we'll go in the back and see what's going on today. Reaper's here. <laughs> Hi, Reaper. What's up? Look what I got. Hey. I got a bridge in here, Reaper. I got a bridge. <laughs> Say hi, Reaper. <laughs> Hello. Let's Hello. put Braxton over. He <laughs> loves working. This little guy. You have no idea. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. There's Hoover down there, Zeth and Oliver. And there's Charlie. Yeah? We got no no power on well, here. Well, all you did was throw everything on the supply cord. None of the six-pack here needs to be it turned on. It was working fine. I'm going to lift this up. Hit that six-pack and turn it on. That's where? Right. This, Whatever it is, turns well, the other way. Well, this is working. So, oh, what's up, Charlie? Hi, Charlie. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's up, girl? What's up, girl? No pack on today or nothing, huh? You get freedom, huh? <laughs> so how you doing today? Doing good. Yeah, got any plans for tomorrow? Or? Yep, we're yeah. sending off a bunch of fireworks at my house. Ooh, are you, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know where to go to blow off fireworks. <laughs> I don't think uh, Strongsville would be uh, too keen about us doing it here. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hey, did you hear what's going on? No. Today's the day that you're going to help me paint these chairs. What? Bridget donated a bunch of money and bought paint for the chairs. She bought brand new cushions. She bought there. cushions? Yeah, she spent. Uh, oh, I see. She spent close to uh, 900 and some odd dollars. What? Yeah. You're only two and a half hours late. Yeah, we've been waiting. <laughs> wow. Yep. Mm hmm. I've been out here, I just sprayed the first coat on them, then I'm going to flip them up after they dry. Oh, huh. Where's your shoes at, Hillbilly? Ow. I don't think he owns any. Ow. No, <laughs> only for, only for Ow. like, uh, yeah. stores. Ooh, I yeah, still stores feel like or... downhill. <laughs> she's up there in her own element. Oh, she's on her own element. Go look up there. Oh, I do. I, 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 well, now she ain't moving, but she was. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> What's she doing? She doing her makeup? Yeah. So the paddlefish finally ate, huh? 
Yes, they ate. I I'm know. so happy. Yes, I they know. ate. Awesome. Oh, look up there. You got models that are hanging out, just hanging out at Big Rich's house. Models just hanging out. Hey, where's the, the poses? Where's the poses? There you go. There's the poses. <laughs> So a while I'm back talking with everybody, Rich said there was a package on the uh, counter for me. So I went in the house and sure enough, to Vincent Reaper Tregilio, and I believe I know who it's from. So let me get my old man knife out and I'll open this up and we'll see what it is. All right, this is from Brooklyn Hudson, one of our subscribers. And uh, she actually contacted me months ago when I had said on one of my videos, I'm trying to quit smoking again, and I've tried hypnotist, laser, I've tried that Chantel pill or whatever it is, and I, I've tried it all, patches, the whole works, and she suggested vaping. She was up to three packs a day. She vapes now, she doesn't smoke, just the nicotine. Her lungs are clear, and I've always been leery about it. She sent me some links. I'll actually put the link down there because it, it's what convinced me was the one thing on it, but you know because I had my doubts on this stuff But I tell you what if this works and I think it might then uh, I'll quit smoking permanently But uh, I have been just so leery about it, but she was so Definite about it that it would work and she sent me so much information that it was ridiculous And she sent me everything I need to do it. So I'm gonna give it a go instead of smoking uh, I still got a little couple cigarettes left and she told me I'll it'll take a little bit it's a process of cutting back uh, I won't just you know cold turkey on the cigarettes and go right to this in fact these are gonna make me cough a little bit but my lungs should start clearing up I mean really I know a lot of people against it I know a lot of people for it I've tried everything I'm willing to try almost anything but again I was leery but when I watched and checked out more on this the, the U.S. is pissed. That's why they're trying to stop it. They can't tax the stuff. It, it, it's food. It, nicotine is in the same class as caffeine, coffee, guys. It's everything else in the cigarette that makes it bad and addictive and messing up your lungs and can't breathe. This is supposed to really help. And I, like I said, for two months I've been researching it. So I'm going to give it a go. And Brooklyn, thank you. Thank you so much for this. And I will keep everybody informed on how this works. So thank you. Thank you very much. And when I get home, I'll show you that one of Dawn's orchids that she got from Hillbilly Orchid. She was so happy. We came back from that, uh, you know, the ox roast yesterday. And she went in to water a plant. She come out and she goes, look what I found, look what I found. And it bloomed and it's beautiful. And I'll take a picture and I'll show it to you guys when I get home. Here we go, we'll do a little better than a picture. And that is her first orchid. And it's not very big. There's my thumb. It's just a little thing in the cute. What kind it is, I'm not sure if you guys can read that or not. But I know I can't pronounce it. But yes, Paula, she finally oh well, she sent Hillbilly Orchid a picture already. But yep, she got her first bloom out of her orchids from sent from Hillbilly. So just thought I'd show you guys that. I'm sure Rich took a picture and everything, but look, the mess is getting better and better. Look at all that now. Got a lot done. So, got that one and a whole nother roll over there. So, that little bit will be easy to do. Alright, it's getting there. And it's getting there. And these are all the cushions that she bought for doing the chairs up down there. Spent like 900 bucks in this rug here too. She bought this rug to go down on that patio. And she's actually going to pick up some glass. She's in the vehicle that was marked Florida. She's actually from Columbus. She's been here a couple times. But you see that window that's broke? She went down, had Hoover measure it, and I think she's going to get glass so we can replace it and fix that as well. <laughs> Very ambitious little gal, so. Thank you for those, that contribution is awesome. It's gonna make all that furniture look really good. 
All right, I just checked on the chairs and the table over there, but they're still kind of sticky, so they got to dry yet. Uh, like I said, she went to the store to get that glass for the shed over there, and then they're coming back. <laughs> she wants to actually bring out the power sprayer and do the deck and paint it and everything. I don't know if they'll be able to do that. It is Sunday, and I do know it's uh, 3.30 already, and me, myself, uh, they thought I was coming out to camp. Uh, Rich asked me, and he even told him, no, no, I said he might. But we were just here, and I got plans with my family, and so I'm going to get home tonight, and tomorrow Dawn doesn't even work, so we got Ken and his old lady coming over, and of course Kurt's there, and we're just going to have a family little picnic ourselves and cook out. But I think Evelyn and them are going to camp out. They were talking about trying to set up that older tent that we tried to set up yesterday or uh, the other day. We couldn't get it. But again, it was 9 o'clock at night, and we didn't have a lot of time. That's why we set up the new one. And it was like, no, I want to set up the old one. So they can go ahead here today and try and set it up. Rich said he'll figure it out. Uh, he does have a nurse right now till 4. I don't think Mara's coming in, so... He ain't got a nurse but another half hour, and then he ain't going to be able to go no further than we're on that right here, the patio. So I'm not sure, but I think they're supposed to be camping out and doing a fire. And He made more shish kebabs. Those shish kebabs were delicious, I got to admit. They were delicious. And, boy, I can see some of them paddle fish. I don't know if you guys can, but I can really see them. In fact, I can see the creases in the liner on the bottom right now. So that second mechanical filter on the end back there is doing the job. But good to see that they ate. That's awesome. All right, so uh, I think I'm going to get going here. I'll finish up at the house. and uh, But, yeah, I'm going to get going because, uh, yeah, it's a holiday weekend. So, uh, you know, happy 4th of July. By the time this comes out, it comes out tomorrow. It is. It's going to be 4th of July. So happy 4th of July to everybody. I uh, hope your 4th of July was as good as mine's going to be. I know I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> but I'll be back Tuesday. And uh, we'll get back to business then. And we'll get the rest of this here done and ready. And then next week, next week or the week after is when he's got to hook up with Greg and uh, put in bay. And take care of the little project. He'll be on four different days, I believe, out of the week. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you guys a little little bit a little later. Blech. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, so, uh, you know, again, like I said, it's the uh, 4th of July weekend, and uh, me and Don, we're getting ready to eat some dinner here, and we're all going to take off, Kurt and I, and meet up with Tom and Holly. we got some fireworks in the area. We're going to go do that, have a fire in Tom and Holly's, and, you know, enjoy ourselves and relax. And then tomorrow, Don picked up steaks, and I'm going to cook outdoors. And uh, like I said, Ken and his old lady will be over, and we're just going to enjoy the day. So, everybody, you guys have a great 4th of July. And for everybody else who's, you know, in Scotland and everybody else, I hope you have a great time and great weekend. Until then, stay fishy, my friends. Hit that like, subscribe, and share, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.